All right, today we're changing uh, transmission fluid and well, checking the level first, then changing transmission fluid in a 722.6 Mercedes transmission. I think it's what's the manufacturer's name? Nag One, Nag Two. Um, anyway, move the cap. I've got um, your cap's going to have a little red tab in here that locks it onto the uh, transmission fill tube down here. Transmission fill tube. Why can't you see that? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Transmission fill tube. Anyway, stick the sucker back down. Um, anyway, it's gonna have a little red tab. You're gonna pop that out. It's gonna have to. You're gonna have to break it in order to uh, to take it off. Um, I check mine, so I just have a little O-ring on here. I can pop it back in once in a while. And I put a piece of uh, duct tape over top of it so no dirt gets down the little hole. Um, if you break this thing off, you just have to get another little red tab from the dealership and uh, to lock it back on. Anyway, it's off and stuck aside. I just drove my car about 30 minutes, so I know the transmission fluid is warmed up appropriately. And I've got the uh, transmission fluid check, level check. Uh, thingy here and uh, there's a red level for checking when hot you just want it in this red level you don't want it uh, out of it I think hot is 80 degrees Celsius uh, not 100% sure on the 70 ooh, can't remember I'll get that information for you but you know if you've driven around for about 30 minutes then your transmission is up to the hot level that's where it's going to be now and we're just going to stick it down until it touches bottom gently I want to cram it in there just till it bottoms out on the bottom and is touching. And pull it out. And we look at the level and my fluid is right there. So it's the right level. But I'm changing the fluid today anyway. So let's see the color. It's pinky but a little bit dirty. And uh, I don't know if this fluid on this car has ever, ever been changed. 322,000 kilometers. Um, <laughs> I don't know. If it hasn't, it's time for it. So, anyway, I'm going to put that aside and we'll get back to this, uh, back to you in a second. Okay, if you're doing this, you're going to need a, a large container, um, about a three gallon, four gallon container to catch the fluid. Uh, it doesn't have to be clean, it just has to be empty um, because we're going to, once we drain the fluid out of the pan, we're going to measure how much comes out. Uh, I've got a measuring cup like a, a one liter measuring cup, I'm just going to pour it in, measure it by liters and dump it into a, uh, an old container. And then once I've measured all the containers, I know how much to replace it with. And you have got to use either Mercedes fluid, go to the dealership and get it, or use the Mercedes specified fluid. I'm going to put a link on the bottom to the uh, technical page that will tell you exactly what fluids you can use. Some of them may or may not be available in your area. Um, they're not available around here for me, so the only one I can actually get is the Mercedes fluid. It's like 80 bucks for a gallon and $27 for single liters, so it's not cheap stuff. Um, also remember, uh, this, this fluid is the ATF-134. Um, if you open it up and take a look, this stuff is pink or red. And there is a superseded fluid that the dealership will use on the newer cars. It's blue. You can't mix the two. So if you have red fluid in your car right now or pink fluid in your car, unless you're doing a complete flush and change, which is pretty hard to do, you're not supposed to mix the blue with the red. So if you've got blue in your car, put the blue back in. Uh, red in the car, put the red back in. We're not doing a full flush and change. The dealerships don't recommend it. Uh, none of the Mercedes specialists I've talked to recommend it. They recommend draining the oil pan, measuring the amount, and replacing. Uh, that's it. That's what they do in the dealerships. That's what they do in the Mercedes specialist shops. Uh, they don't drain torque converters. They don't uh, flush out the system. They drain and refill, replace the filter, obviously. Um, I've got a new filter and the fluid here. So next thing you know, we're going to go onto the car. We've got it jacked up. We're going to go onto the car and remove the uh, drain plug and drain fluid into here. So I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, lucky me. My drain bolt in the in the tranny pan, which is a T5. Uh, someone probably did change this fluid before. Didn't have the right uh, uh, socket. 
um, <laughs> strip this bastard out so I can't get uh, the socket out I'm gonna have to remove the bolts and and tilt the pan and just dump it that way I'm not happy about that because it's gonna be a mess and I could possibly spill and lose my uh, uh, the, the amount of fluid uh, so I won't be able to measure it properly but uh, that's all I can do uh, this this like I said this bolt is just a, a T5 socket in the middle I'm just gonna get closer for you but it's stripped all the rat crap so someone has been in here before so I'm gonna loosen all these these are T5s and these should be a 10 millimeter in the middle uh, they're not a T5 so loosen them all up and then uh, because the car's on an angle, the, the front's raised higher, I'm going to try and, uh, uh, the fluid's probably going to drain out the back, so I'm going to loosen everything, leave the uh, the front ones in, and then tilt it toward the back and allow the fluid to splash out of there. Um, hopefully we'll catch this on film, let's see what happens. Okay, so here we're looking at the pan from underneath. Um, it took about 40 minutes to drain most of that fluid. Um, I've removed the four. Uh, the, the two back and the two middle bolts. They're also supposed to be T5s. Um, as you can tell, someone it was working on this because they replaced one of the T5s with a 10 mil. Um, I thought they were also supposed to be T5s, so the 10 mil kind of threw me for a loop. But it's uh, it's not a stock bolt, so someone had this off before and lost a bolt, and that's why they screwed up the drain plug. Anyway, you can see the back of the paint is tilted, and. Still sloshing some of the fluid out, and like I said, it's very, very important to get the fluid out and know exactly how much came out. It's going to be both uh, between five and seven liters uh, altogether for a, uh, a drain and fill, but um, you just want to be sure anyway. But uh, pain last as this is. So I've only got two front bolts holding this thing on right now, the two very front ones up there. And uh, so there's not a lot of room here, and I now have no light because of waiting for this thing to frickin' drain. The sunlight all went away. <laughs> so, anyway, actually popping this gasket off a little bit. Gonna give it a little bit more room to drain. Once that's out mostly, and I'm not going to completely spill everything out of the pan, I'm going to uh, pull those two front T5 bolts out of the, the pan. Um, sorry, the bolt. There's a little lip on these bolts uh, on the holder that grabs the side of the pan. There's a little lip on the edge of the pan here. And this, uh, that hooks into the, uh, the side of the pan and pulls it up. Sorry, on the, uh, where am I? on the edge there, it hooks in and pulls up. There goes a bolt. Uh, just remember that when you're putting it back on. But anyway, I'm, uh, I just gotta drain this out and I'm gonna pull the pan out and then clean it. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so now the pan is off and the fluid's still gonna drip out of the, uh, the control valves and stuff for a bit. And this is the filter here. It, it came out when the pan came out. It kind of, because I was wiggling the pan, I flopped it off, it, it just clips in. There's a big hole at the front. It pops in, and then it should just snap in. This one, for some reason, there. I guess because it's the old one, it doesn't want to stay. But they just pop in there like that. So this comes out, and you also want to measure the fluid from that. So you're going to drain the transmission filter into there as well. So I'm just going to let this drain and drip for a little bit while longer. <sighs> Bit of a messy job, but hey, it's no big deal. That's not as hard as people make it out to be. Uh, you don't want to go wiping under there with a rag or anything. Just leave that, let it drip. You'll wipe along the edge, the, the lip where the pan gasket meets. Um, but don't wipe inside the transmission. You don't need to. There's no reason to do that. Let's look inside here, see if we can see anything. It looks a little bit gummed up, but uh, yeah. Not really. Let's look in the pan. So here's inside the pan. Sorry, I've got to use a flashlight here. There's absolutely no metal filings around the magnet whatsoever. There should be a magnetic drain plug. 
Well, I don't see any metal filings. There should be something. But anyway, see, you can see there's, uh, you can see there's a little bit of fluid left in there. I've got to drain out and measure. Sorry, I'm trying to use a flashlight here, and it's probably a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is really ridiculous. Anyway, this is the time I'm doing it. This is the only time I get to film it, so sorry about that. But uh, anyway, this is the inside of the drain pan. And uh, I'm going to dump that fluid into the uh, pan, the drain pan with everything else, and uh, clean this out and put a new gasket on, uh, which just, it just pops off and slips on the edge. It just simply pulls off. Oddly enough, same uh, transmission gasket and same transmission as a lot of Chrysler's. I went to Chrysler the, to see how much their gasket was. It was 39 bucks. Mercedes, 18 So, uh, you go, Mercedes. Uh, anyway, that's about it. Okay, well, that filter, or the old fluid is still draining out. I'm going to snap the new filter into place. And like I said, it just... Let's put this camera down. Hopefully you can... Jeez, Lord. I apologize about the darkness. Fits into the hole. And where's the little cross piece? It should snap in. There. And snapping in. Ah. There we go. So like I said, that's just going to continue to drain. Um, and once that's done draining, I am going to just wipe off the, the rim of the seal around there, put the new seal, a new pan on, and uh, then we'll get to measuring the fluid and putting the new fluid in. Um, clean rag, make sure you don't get any dirt inside the pan when you're wiping it out. Uh, you know, just be careful, clean it out, and uh, then just bolt everything back on with a new gasket. There's not really much to see there, and uh, it's pretty dark, can't really show you that much, but there's nothing much to it. Just put the, slip the new gasket on, bolt it all back in. Um, don't tighten the crap out of it. It's about 10 pound feet of torque on each one of the bolts, and uh, then we'll fill up. So we'll be back when we're ready to fill. Okay, so now just all the fluid that I've drained out, I'm dumping into, bit by bit, into a, just like a one liter dollar store uh, measuring cup. So I can measure how many liters came out, and I'm just going to dump them in an old uh, oil container. Uh, once I've measured how many came out, then I know how many to replace it with. So back in. Okay, pans back on. Uh, cleaned up, put back in with the new gasket and uh, filters in, blah blah blah, pan was wiped out. Again, don't wipe down any of the valve bodies or the inside of the transmission, just let it drip dry. Um, and throw the new pan, clean up the, the old pan, put it back on. Don't forget the filter, don't forget a new gasket. You can reuse the old gasket, the old gasket is reusable, but new one's like 18 bucks, so we'll put a new one on there. So anyway, we're going to lower the car now and uh, replace the amount of fluid that came out. We're going to measure the fluid that came out and replace it with the same amount. And that will get us to basically uh, close to what we need for uh, uh, fluid level. So back. Okay, well we took three and a half liters out, so we're going to put three and a half liters back in. Just through the dipstick tube. Well, it's not a dipstick tube, because there's no dipstick, it's a fill tube. So actually a fairly small tube, so you got to fill it a little bit slowly. So anyway, I've got two individual liters of this, and I've got the one gallon pill, so I'm going to uh, fill it up. This has got a little uh, a liter mark on it, so I'm going to fill that up to one liter again for the third one, and then halfway. And once I've put three and a half, you don't want to watch me pour this slowly for the next five minutes. So once I've poured all this in, in here, um, I'm going to start the car and then we'll take the final measurement and uh, make sure that the uh, fluid is the right level. So I'll be back in a minute. And anyway, we've taken it off jack stands because it does have to be on level ground for this. So back in a minute. Okay, another quick drive. Checked it again. Uh, it was still down about 200 milliliters. So put another 200 milliliters in and it's fine. The level's good now. Uh, it'll take you 20, 25 minutes, maybe depending on the temperature, it could be a 30 minute drive to make sure the transmission's up to temperature. And uh, that's about all I can tell you. Uh, you're going to need 
one of the aftermarket dipsticks or a uh, order one from the factory. Uh, they're about 20 bucks for a dipstick. Um, I can even measure it to a bevel without it. And uh, that's about all I can tell you. Thanks for watching. Okay, so just popping the cap back on. And uh, this isn't a tough job to do. Mine had a little bit of a bitch because of that uh, screwed up bolt um, and having to uh, you know, drain the pan through the sides instead of a nice drain plug. But um, the two most important things are fluid type and fluid level. Measuring the fluid level at the right temperature and using the proper type of fluid. Um, if you do that, you measure everything. If you're not willing to measure it, if you're not willing to use the proper type of fluid, don't bother changing your fluid. Transmission fluid because you will uh, you'll grenade your uh, your transmission. The transmission's designed specifically for a specific type of fluid. If you don't use that fluid, um, say goodbye to a four or five thousand dollar transmission, a um, couple grand used. So um, anyway, that's about it. It's not hard. Uh, should take you about hour, hour and a half maybe with uh, if you don't run into the nice drain bolt problem that I did. And uh, that's about it. Thank you.